Kind of close, hey Do you know what I could do to you? But who knows, hey I might just be good to you I've been ruling the world But I've got a little spare time I'm a Oh my god, you guys, it's been no joke here. Thank you so much for watching. It's been such a pleasure to be back. I hope you enjoy my video and stay tuned. First, I start off with the Natural Dermis Hydrate, which acts as a primer under my makeup. It's perfect because it plumps my skin. It's literally gotten rid of all my fine lines and it just makes my skin look really nice. This is my current favorite makeup forever foundation. It's Ultra HD. When I first sent it to me, I was like, can their foundation get any better? Oh my gosh, yes, this one's much better because it's lighter yet it covers more. So you get a cover, a light coverage, yet beautiful camera ready appearance. I couldn't find my Laura Geller concealer, so this was my next option. I don't recommend this for a beginner because it's really tricky to work with. If you don't know how to use thick products, you can get a cakey appearance. So I say that you use a tiny bit. This is a Kevin Aquan Skin Enhancer. You can use this as a concealer, as an eye primer, foundation. Then I'm just gonna set it with the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. This is just gonna set everything in place so when I apply Apply my shadows it's not gonna cake up or crease the tutorial for the Too Faced Artist Palace by Vegas Nay is finally here I know it's taken me forever to do this I have a seven month old I know it's been so hard there's no excuses you guys this palette is my baby I helped create this palette with Jared Blandino the founder of Too Faced Cosmetics I waited so long for the perfect collaboration we have put together this palette for every skin tone every color in here you can go from day to night glamorous to natural I did start off with the color Millennials you can see this perfect transition color and then I go back in with the color Double Tap. Double Tap is a perfect maroon color. I had to have a maroon color. Maroons, I've been obsessed with them for the past year. So since the weight gain of my baby, I've lost my eyelids. My eyes are puffy now. I'm overweight. I'm marking my crease and then I'm blending it out with a blender brush. And then I go back in with a clean brush and I blend it all out. Now I'm going to go in with the color Chandelier, the perfect highlight color. It's not shimmery. It's not matte. It's just like a sheen satin finish. Now we're going in with Golden Nugget. Golden Nugget is a true rich shimmery gold color. I'm gonna go in on the lids, the entire lid. I'm going in with the NYX Kajal Brown Liner. This is a coal liner. These liners are creamy, they blend, they are beautiful when you wanna blend the shadows down. The shadows just stick to them like glue, but then they blend so beautifully when you want that seamless, smoked out finish. And that's what I'm kinda of going for for this look. I'm not going too crazy, but this is the color. Now we're gonna go in with the color Millennial. This is the very first color we used on our lid. It was a transitional color. We're gonna go and smudge that lower lash line. The cool liner smudges out beautifully. Just use a smudge brush and just blend out as much as you want. And then this is the part, oh my gosh, I love this color. It's called Jackpot. So Jackpot is a dark brown with tiny specks of gold. I think you would tie in with Golden Nugget. And I'm just defining the crease a little bit more because when I photograph this eye look, I want it to be defined. I want it to be rich and bold. And then just go in with a tiny blender brush and just lightly blend it out. Time to work on my brows. I did these last or after the eyeshadows because I like to frame the face and see how dramatic I wanna go. Brows literally change your entire face. You can go light, you can go dark, dramatic. Today I'm going dramatic. You're gonna see that this is gonna change my entire look. I'm using the Anastasia Brow Wiz in dark brown. I change, I, I have like three different colors that I go back and forth on. Today I'm using dark brown and then I'm gonna set with a darker powder. And you just go in the same direction as the hairs of your brows. Look at the difference. It's already changing my face. After I pencil my brows, I'm gonna go in with the Anastasia Brow Powder in Ebony. I set my powder on the ends because I want that dark, dramatic look. I do wanna share in this entire video, I've been using my favorite products that I've been using like every day for the past six months. Highlighter Pencil by Cali Baker Brows, amazing. It instantly lifts your brows, it cleans up the brow, and it doesn't mess up the eyeshadow. And it blends out perfectly, but it defines the brow and it gives you a clean look. So about eight years ago, I saw Makeup by Mario use this on Kim Kardashian. I had to try it out and it actually does work. It's a Makeup Forever lifting concealer. I always change and I mix my concealers like a, kind of like a recipe, but I always use two concealers if I want a dramatic look to cover and conceal my eyes because I do have bags and more so since the baby was born. So now I'm going in with the Laura Mercier translucent powder 
to set my under eye concealer. This is gonna serve as two purposes, one for fallout, because I'm gonna put glitter on my eyelids, and then the other, just to kind of set the eyes so they don't crease. And then I'm gonna go in with the Double Perfection by Chanel. This powder is amazing. I keep going in with my samples. The guy at the counter, when I bought the new stuff, he gave me all the samples that were left. I keep going to the old stuff. I'm a creature of habit, but I think the new stuff is just as good, so. I could not find my Too Faced glitter adhesive, and the Lime Crime works just as good. What, what face is that? I was sitting here and I was like, why do you have to make that face, Naomi? Anyway, before before that glitter adhesive dries on your eyelids, you have to go in and pat the glitter before it dries because then it just doesn't work. The glitter is by NYX Cosmetics. They don't make it anymore, but any glitter will do. I just love this glitter. Now I'm just brushing away the translucent powder and I'm going to spray my glitter with MAC Pseudo Fix to set the glitter in place. Now I'm just going to wing out my liner with the Lorac Pro Liquid Liner if you're a beginner and you have a really hard time using liquid liners. This one is easy to work with. It will save you heartaches, headaches, and frustration. I promise you this liner is amazing. I know I don't have to share how I curl my lashes, but how beautiful is my lash curler by Tarte Cosmetics? They come out with the prettiest lash curlers every season from diamonds and pearls. Now I'm going in with the Better Than Sex Mascara by Too Faced. This comes in the Vegas Snake Collection. So when you buy the palette, you get a mascara. I'm sure you guys have seen it on Alta.com. You can just Google it and you'll see what comes in the collection. Love this brush by Tarte Cosmetics. I've been using it religiously for my contour. It's so soft and I just tap the excessive off on my hand, apply it on my cheeks, on my cheekbones. Look at that face. Like I promise I won't make this face on my next video. <laughs> and then I'm going to apply that around um, the center of my face and I just build a halo. So just remember the darker points on the outer part of your face and then the highlight on the inner part. This is one of my favorite parts of makeup application is contouring because it just defines a face. It makes it skinnier if you want it. You can change the look. You can contour your cheekbones. You can contour that jawline. Elongate your neck, which I'm going to do. I'm going to darken my neck a little bit. And here I'm blending out everything so I have a more seamless look. Then I'm going to add a little bit onto my nose. I'm not going to go too crazy on this step because if you do, you make your nose a little bit too strong and that's not the look I'm going for. Then I'm going to just brush it out and blend it out with a blush brush. Going back in with the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder, I'm going to pop out those jaw lines. If you go too crazy on the contour and you forget to do the step, you end up looking and having that alien face where your forehead looks a little bigger than your jawline. So you want to go back in and highlight those areas and bring out that jawline. And then I just leave it on for five minutes and I brush it off. And you can see it's all tying together. I'm going in with MAC Harmony Blush. I'm so sorry if they don't make this anymore. It's a beautiful, warm blush. It has a, it's more on the brown side, but it really warms up the contour, and I'm just going in and defining a little bit darker. I'm going with Masquerade Cosmetics BS18 Blusher. This blush is gorgeous. It's identical to the NARS Orgasm, which I cannot find anywhere. So it just does the same look. It's like a shimmery, peachy undertone blush, and I just add it to the apples of my cheeks. I'm going in with the Anastasia Illuminating Highlighter in the color So Hollywood on my cheekbones. Just gonna, gonna go in and glow in my face a little bit. Not gonna go too crazy because I already have glitter lids. I'm gonna tap some onto my nose and then I'm gonna add some on my cupid's bow. The great thing about adding highlight at the end, if you add too much, just get a clean brush and just blush them off and it just comes right off. I'm going in with MAC Lip Pencil in the color Vino and I'm gonna contour the lips darker outer edges and I'm gonna go in with a pretty cranberry liquid lipstick. Now I'm going in with the color More Better by ColourPop Ultra Matte Liquid Lipsticks. These formulas are genius. I know it's a lipstick trend right now. A lot of the companies are carrying them. They're smudge proof. I know some companies have vitamins infused in them. Some have more moisture. I hope this trend never dies because I love wearing these. They're smudge proof. I can wear them all day. I can eat and drink and they don't get all over the place. So I am going back in with Vino because I want to define it. I want to darken out the edges a little bit more because I want that contour finish. I'm going in with one of my favorite lashes by Eyelure collaboration with Vegas Nay. I designed these lashes. I was inspired by mink lashes, but they're synthetic and they are fluffy, glamorous, and I designed them a little longer for almond-shaped eyes, but you can cut off the edges. Just measure your eyes to see if they fit, and if they don't, just snip off a little bit on the ends. The best part is these lashes come with its own lash glue, so you just apply a little bit to the lash band, you wait to dry about 15 seconds to a minute, wait for it to get tacky, and then you just apply it to your lash line. I've been getting so many requests on how to apply these lashes. Honestly, they're so easy. If you have some tweezers, my nails are too long, I lay it across the lash line just like that, and it just lays beautifully, and then you just crimp down, and there you go. That easy. 
Do you see how one eye is a lot larger now, more elongated, more voluminous? This is what I love about these lashes. They are fluffy and we carry them in Ulta, Target, Super Love Drugs in the UK, and Dubai Virgin Mega Stores. Here I'm going in with that Cold NYX creamy pencil and I'm just going to put that on the top lash line because I don't want you to see the transition of my natural lashes. I'm so happy we're finally done with this look. I did apply contacts to change the look for more of a dramatic holiday. I love contacts for some reason. And these are the Solitica. I'll link everything down below on who I get them from. I really hope this video was helpful. Mwah.